Assalamu alaikum students uh, I am your host FTG and I am here with a short video on solving simultaneous linear equations by substitution method in the previous video we were also solving simultaneous linear equations but the method was elimination method uh, the in elimination method we eliminate one variable in order to find the value of the second variable uh, but in uh, the, the substitution method we have to substitute the value of one variable into the next equation to find the value of the next variable uh, this method is a bit lengthy method a lot of working is required in this method but uh, the working is very much simple and uh, we will be solving it in front of you you guys will be knowing this method is a lot simpler than the elimination method so i have a question in front of me the uh, i have two equations the first one is 7x minus 2y equals to 21 and this is my equation number one and the second equation is 4x plus y equals to 57 and this is my equation number two the first thing which I have to look for is uh, that I have to pick one equation out of these two and I have to make a subject I have to make one variable as my subject so the trick behind picking one equation is that pick that equation the uh, that has one as coefficient that has one s coefficient in it so we have seven s coefficient of x and two s coefficient of y but here we have four s coefficient of x and one s coefficient of y so i am going for equation number two because it will be easier for me to make y as my subject so i will write equation number two over here because i am picking equation number two and i will write equation number two as it is in the first step then i will make y as my subject i have to make y independent on one side since this 4x is being added on this side i will shift it on the other side and my equation will become 57 minus 4x this 57 is as it is this 4x that has a positive sign when it will be moving on the other side of the equation it will become minus 4x and this is my equation number 3 which is a very important equation in this method uh, since I have uh, given these two equations I pick one on the basis of the coefficient uh, the trick behind picking equation is that I told you that pick that equation uh, that has one as coefficient either one as coefficient of x or one as coefficient of y because it will be easier for me to make that variable as my subject now I have made my equation number 3 I got the value of y y is equals to 57 minus 4x what will I do next is that I will substitute this value of y in equation number 1 I will not put this value of y in equation number 2 because I have derived this value from equation number 2. So I will not put this back in equation number 2. I will put it in equation number 1 in order to find the value of x. You have to remember this thing. Don't put it back in the equation from which you have derived it. So equation number 1 is 7x minus 2y equals to 21 I have y is equals to 57 minus 4x I will put the value of y in this equation 7x as it is minus 2 as it is and I will put the value of y in bracket that is 57 minus 4x equals to 21 this 7x as it is this minus 2 will be multiplied by 57 it will become 114 and this minus 2 when being multiplied with minus 4x it will become positive 8x and 21 as it is I will shift this minus 114 on the other side this 7x plus 8x and this 21 plus 114 this 7 8x will give me 15x and on adding these two numbers I will get 135 15 is being multiplied on this side when it will go on the other side it will become 135 upon 15 and I will get the value of x as 9 so what I did I picked an equation on the basis of coefficient 
and then I made I picked a variable and make it as a subject and then substitute the value in the other equation and I got the value of x since I have successfully able to achieve my half target that is I have found the value of x I will put this value of x in equation number 3 that's why I told you that this equation number 3 is very important in this method because you don't have to put it back in 1 and 2 you will get the same answer if you put x equals to 9 in equation 1 and 2 but these two equations are a, a, a more difficult one this is a very easy example since we have made y as our subject I will just put the value of x over here and I will find the value of y my y is equals to 57 minus 4x 57 as it is minus as it is 4 as it is and I will put the value of x in bracket 57 4 times 9 is 36 and when I will subtract it I will get the value of y as 21 so my y is 21 and my x is 9 these are the two values of x and y and I have successfully solved my simultaneous linear equations by the method of substitution